Last time we created an entire set to make a practical effect of the Vecna curse bone cracking effect, which was really cool and you guys really seem to love that. Today we're going to create that effect again, but entirely inside Unreal Engine 5. And there's a brand new update to MetaHuman, which allows you to create yourself entirely 3D with the right textures and everything on it. Super easy, super simple. And that is what this tutorial is actually going to be about. So without further ado, let's jump into Unreal Engine Five. Hey guys, we got a new standing desk. What do you think of it? I think it's very healthy to kind of like swap around a little bit from sitting to standing over here. I really like it. It's nice. And we got a brand new monitor as well, a dual up from LG. We'll talk more about that in the future. For now, I'm going to give the mic over to Janik because he's going to show you what to do inside Unreal Engine to make your uh, street scene, isn't that right? Yes. <laughs> We already created a buttload of worlds in Unreal Engine 5, so I'm not going to go in detail for everything. However, if you want to know the basics of Unreal Engine 5, we got a cool course on Skillshare. Go check that out. And let me explain some new cool things you are going to use in this project. Step 1, go to the marketplace and download a super expensive forest project. And we're done. No, I'm just kidding. But we do need to look for something in the marketplace. Search for the Megascans trees. And from the search results, we're gonna use the Megascans trees European Black Alder, which are of course free and just download them. Voila, now we have super cool trees, which are alive, ready to use in our world. In a world. Next, create a simple flat landscape and add a forest ground texture to it. And now we will do some modeling inside Unreal Engine. In the Mode tab on top, select the Modeling Mode. If you're not seeing this mode, you first need to enable the Modeling plugin. Now in the Modeling Mode, we create a box and with adjusting the settings, we make it look like a linear road. If we now click in our viewport, our box will be placed. Then with the Warp option, we can bend it in the right direction. And voila, we are done with the modeling. Of course, you can do a lot more in the Modeling Mode of Unreal engine but for us this will do next we added a custom road texture we made from a blend material to our freshly made road if you want to know how to make a blend material from scratch definitely check out our tutorial about the Vecna upside down world we did in Unreal Engine I'll leave a link for that in the description below look at that we have a road then it's just a matter of adding some assets. I started with some decals on the road, making it more dirty. Then I spread some random forest assets next to the road, and now it's time for the foliage. Inside Quixel Bridge, we looked for a couple of bushes and added them to the project. Here we went into the foliage mode and added all the bushes we want to the foliage brush. And of course, use the settings that you want. We are going to reduce the density a little. This will limit the count of bushes, giving us more control. We can also decrease or increase the scale of our bushes and make them even more random if we want. Then it's just a matter of painting next to our road and look at that, we have some foliage. As an extra aspect, we also added some branches and stone on the road, nothing too fancy. And now we just have to add the super cool trees for mega scans and look at that, we have a forest. Next, let's turn off the lights, add some fog, and we're in Hawkins. Oh, did you know guys that together we raised $55,000 to charity by buying the five day deal video creator bundle. That sale is over now, so you can't get it anymore. Those who purchased it, I do hope that you are enjoying the bundle. Uh, let us know in the comments down below. We're going to do this next year again. And I'm going back to Iceland tomorrow actually for a new trip. Oh yeah, looking forward to it. A nice vacation, a little bit of work vacation because I'm going to do photography there. But it's nice. I love Iceland. Like you know, we did the same bone cracking effect a few weeks ago, but we mainly did it practical. And like you know, we really love doing practical effects. However, sometimes it's impossible to do it for real. Like an explosion, a gunshot, or even simple footage from outer space. This is impossible in a practical way for most of us. So luckily we have Storyblocks, the sponsor of today's video. In their ever-growing library with more than 1 million royalty-free, high-quality stock assets, you can find everything you need for your view vex videos like for example dust particles aerial shots smoke assets lens flares and so on now speaking out of experience we use storyblocks a lot for various effects and because they have such a wide variety we always find something perfect for that vfx shot they really help us to bring our vfx shots to life without compromising on anything like you can find stock assets in hd to 4k resolution various after effects templates which will save you a lot of time 
epic music and sound effects to make your VFX more realistic and so much more. And to top that off you can download an endless amount of assets from their library with the unlimited all access plan. Or you can check out the other affordable plans, there's one for every need. If you want to know more about Storyblocks and how to start downloading right away, click the first link in the description below or go straight to storyblocks.com slash cinecom. The next step is to create a 3D model of our talent Jordy. For this we'll be using MetaHuman, a super advanced character creator which looks really good and also automatically adds a skeleton for animation. In one of our previous videos we already showed you how this works but they recently added a super cool feature. Normally you would go through the library and look for a model that looks the most like you and work from that on. But with the new update we can use a 3D scan of Zed which the Meta human creator uses to automatically create a matching face. To use this feature we'll first have to close our project and open up the Unreal Marketplace in the Epic Games Launcher. Here look for the Meta Human plugin and install it to your engine. With this done it's time to get ourselves a 3D scan. You have a ton of apps which you can use like Polycam for example. All you have to do is take a ton of pictures from all different angles and the app will give you a 3D model. This we'll have to export as a FBX file. Open your Unreal project again and drag this model into it. Now let's activate the plugin we installed, head over to edit, plugins and in this window look for MetaHuman. Once found, install and restart the project. Next up head over to add, look for MetaHuman and choose MetaHuman Identity. In here we can prepare our model for the new MetaHuman feature. In this search bar look for your model and add it. Let's select neutral pose and click on the add frame button on the bottom of the screen. Let's also set the view mode to unlit and the field of view to something like 20. These two settings should make it easier for the program to detect the face. With this done make sure the viewport is straight onto the face and is zoomed in as much as possible. Next up right click on frame 0 and select auto tracking on. Once this is done you should see these masks all over the face. Now before we move anything right click again on frame 0 and lock camera. We can now zoom in and see if the lines match the face. If it doesn't simply adjust them. If you want you can also turn on the brow and nostrils to get an even more accurate result. You can also add two extra frames and repeat the process but only for the ears. Just make sure you don't have repeating masks. That's very important. When you're happy with all this we can continue and click on MetaHuman Identity Solve. If this is done, select body on the left side and choose a body type that matches your talent. Final step is to hit Mesh to MetaHuman. When it's done with meshing we can open up Quixel Bridge. And once we head over to My MetaHumans, you should see yours. Select it and start the MetaHuman Creator. Right here we can see Jordi, <laughs> or at least kind of. You can see that the eyebrows and ears are a bit off and that it mistook the hair and beard as his head shape. But we can easily fix that. In the custom mesh you can select the certain face area and right under that you have a region influence which you can turn down to fix some mistakes. To even change it further you can select the sculpt mode and play around with those points to fix the areas like the head and chin in our case. And now just add some skin, hair and all the other things you need to make it look as close as possible to your talent. Once you're happy close this window and go back to Quixel Bridge. Here we can download this meta human and add it to our project to start the animation process. Head over to the clapperboard on the top of the screen and choose add level sequence. In here we need to place everything that we need for the animation. So drag the meta human blueprint of your talent in there and also add a new camera. And with this done we can start animating the camera and character. You can either do this by hand, use a pre-recorded motion capture like Mixamo or if possible you can make your own motion capture. Once you're happy with the results simply render it out. Thank you so much for watching guys. I hope you learned something new and if you plan to make a meta human of yourself too, make sure to post it somewhere on Instagram or Twitter or whatnot and tag us so that we can see it. Thank you so much Storyblocks for the support and as always, stay creative. Now check out the video here on my left and I'm off to Iceland. Bye! <laughs>